Hey everybody, this is Infinite Trials here saying welcome back to Let's Play Congress Bad Bird Day. Since last time, uh, I started going into the next area of Pooh Mountain and um, I'm trying to collect some more dung for Mr. Dumb Beetle while evading these bulls and I figured out how to get that by making cows shit and then killing them. Pleasant way of doing this, isn't things, isn't it? Yeah, but pretty much- it Oh crap, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, pretty much in today's episode, I'm gonna just be doing that right now. Getting blasted, but I suppose because I ran out of time last time. In any case, ride the bull. That's what we gotta do. Don't you just love my scatterbrain commentary? <laughs> you idiot. You know, you think that the, with the bullseye being red at all, it, you'd be able you just automatically charge at it because it's already red, but. Oh well. What can you do? Pow! Oh yeah. So yeah, pretty much now we just gotta ride the bull around for a little while, and then... Okay, ole, ole! Relax, relax! Okay. And then once the cow... Oh, okay, I guess I gotta hit it multiple times, I forgot about that. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Okay, I forgot that I have to hit that, hit that cow like numerous times. Yeah, the more times you have to hit the cow... Uh, sorry, the more cows you have out, the more times you have to hit it. I think that makes sense. I hope it does. Oh well. No oh, crap, this is gonna hurt. Oh well, that actually that worked, worked out perfectly in my favor. Okay. Okay, I got a dead on shot here. Just as long as he doesn't like Okay, good, he didn't veer off course on his own here. But yeah. <laughs> Bull riding. Bull riding is actually a pretty cool sport if I uh if I do say so myself. I've I've always debated wanting to do it to it, but well just look at me, I'm a scrawny guy. I don't think I could last even a second on that thing. But apparently what they do is that like they tie the bull's testicles together and then they just completely flip them around right before they release it, which causes them to go absolutely berserk. Otherwise, I think the bull's actually kind of tame, but... Well, not completely tame, but pretty much tame enough. Yeah. But as you can tell, I just killed another bull, another cow right there. Not another bull, but you know what I mean. I hope you do. Oh, boy! Yeah, okay, that's good. Whew, Jesus. You guys are quite violent. I do not like that. Not one bit. Let's see here, and uh, there's the window. Or, not the window, the wall. To the window! Ow. To the wall. To the wall. To the sweat drop down my balls. Oh, these bitches crow. Oh, these, these motherfuckers! Oh, boy. I can't believe I just quoted a party song. That's a first time in an LP. That's for sure. <laughs> At least in my LPs, I don't know about any. Probably other people have done that, but in any case, oh crap, this is gonna hurt. Well, that was a complete another miss right there. <laughs> oh, I am such a twit. Twit? Is that is that the right word? Twit? I think it's a word. I think so. Yeah, whatever. If not, okay, okay, that's not how it's supposed to work out here. And hey, peace bridge. Idiota. <laughs> Stupid bull. The brain will always outsmart the brawn. If that's even a proper term to be using here. In any case, we're just gonna go and kapow! Like that! And I think I gotta hit this bull one more time. No, hold still. Hold still, damn it! Hold still. Hold still, you. Yeah, like what I like to do when controlling the bull is pretty much just con tilt the control stick. Yeah, tilt the control stick in like one simple direction, and that way it just causes the bull to go around in circles constantly. That way you have at least some form of control on it. I don't know. It, it works out, you know? It doesn't, and like, I think if you let the bull just run around by itself, it just will eventually just buck you off, so you want to look out for that. Yeah, because I, I don't think I ever mentioned that last in the last episode, so now that what we want to do here is finish her! And with that, I think we have enough poo now, and the bull's just going to be a fat ass and just stay there and then break this. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Oh dear God. Seems to be filled up with poo. That should do it. Yeah. Well, down the hatch. Oh, that's just nasty. Yeah, we're swimming in all the cow's poo we just got. Yeah, beautiful, I know. Oh, just gotta love this game, guys. Gotta love this game. With all of its inappropriate aspects. Okay, but in any case, a context-sensitive pad, you say? 
Okay, let's see here. Confidence pills. All right. Awesome! And if I'm a lot more confident, then I should be able to swim underwater now. <laughs> Don't understand how that has to do with confidence, but alright. Press B, and that should submerge me. Don't worry, guys, this is the last tutorial we have to deal with in this LP. Once I'm underwater, I think. Hold down I hope so. <laughs> make me swim. Find the control stick in the direction you want to go. That's it. Alright. <laughs> um, are you sure you got that? Yep. Alright, so pretty much now we get introduced to what I like to consider one of the worst aspects of this game, which happens to be the swimming controls. The swimming controls in this game, well, suck. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> the bull's dead. Yeah. But yeah, the swimming controls in this game, not that good. They're probably one of, they're known for being one of the worst, actually, in gaming history. It's not that they're, like, completely horrendous, as much as it is, it's just, like, incredibly hard to control, I suppose. But then again, the only game that actually really has good swimming controls is Majora's Mask. Which, you know, I fucking love. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But in any case, um, I believe there's some money around here, if I'm not mistaken. I just can't remember the exact look. Oh, okay, it's right up around here, I believe. Um, Aha, here we go. Make money, money, judging! Here I am! You greedy bastard! Yeah, more spot to me. I'll take it. I will take it. And then we'll just dive under, under pooter, under diarrhea, which is disgusting. Yeah. Ugh. That's just nasty. But yeah, so pretty much now we've gained access to back in here, and now we can just talk to this fellow who is gone. All right then. Ugh, dripping turd. Ugh, this place is just nasty. Now, why he didn't wear his gas mask while he was underwater swimming in poo is beyond me, but whatever, I suppose. Now, pretty much what we're supposed to do with this giant poo ball right here is... Ugh, ball pushing mechanics, you are my mortal enemy. At least they're not as bad as in Okami! Ugh, God. Dun, dun, there are some bad ball pushing mechanics right there. Oh, my God. I don't even get me started on that game, ball pushing mechanics. But yeah, what we're supposed to do here is pretty much just push this giant ball of turds over this side of the mountain, not the other way. Because the other way will just block you off. Because, and, well, there's a very good reason why you shouldn't go up this way as well. Now, what you want to do is make sure you... Fuck you! In individual face. Okay, you also don't want to get hit by that guy right there, but, um, yeah. So, we're just going to keep pushing this ball up the mountain... And that guy's just gonna stay dormant. I will gladly take that, not gonna lie. But now we're just gonna push this over, and now that we have enough big giant turd, we're just gonna drop it on his head. Oh, well, of course we gotta add some TNT! Dynamite! Oh! Oh! Now, now that's a disgusting way to go. Eating shit. That has TNT in it. That way it just causes your entire body to... Oh, dear God. Oh, yeah. Now, if you do manage to lose your poo, don't worry, because what you just witnessed will happen to you. So, don't worry. You will always have an infinite supply of poo balls. And also, you don't have to worry about taking fall damage right here, because you'll just automatically just get stuck in the poo, which is both a blessing and a curse. A blessing for you, a curse for Conker. But in any case, now that we've got that huge guy out of the way that was initially blocking our path, we can now push this poo ball up the side of the mountain. Yeah, if you, um... Yeah, if you try pushing this, uh, this turd ball up the other side, that fat guy would just blow up, would not be able to get, um... would just be on our way, so... That's why I, that's why I went that way, not the other way. Douche. 
Why are you so mean to me? What did I ever do to you? Besides blow up your friend just about two seconds ago. Well, more like a minute. But in any case. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah, Chico. Whatever. Whatever, I'll just take it, I guess. Take it or leave it. Your choice, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. Just rolling turds up the mountain. That's all we gotta do. And that guy did not hurt me, which is very, very nice. I'm almost there. Okay. Yeah, I'm on. My God, this is this is a large amount. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now that we've got that out of the way, um, okay, let's just push this through here and bada bing bada boom. And hey, there's more money. But once we push that giant turn ball down here, this will happen on a Temple of Doom style. Actually, no, more Raiders of the Lost Ark style. But yeah, okay, don't worry about that. That's literally that's the only time you ever need the chair balls, I think, so. My question is, is how do I get up there? I know there's some way of getting in. Actually, wait, hold on. Maybe if I just go through here? Nope, okay, never mind. How do I get up here? I'm trying to remember. I think, I know there's a way of, okay, yeah, just this. And, cha-ching! Okay, I was a little preempted around that time, but in any case. Hey, what the you be, you ginger bastard? Hey! <laughs> I like how it's muffled right there. Nice touch. But okay, now I can just freely jump to the end and not have to worry about dying, which is very, very nice. I really use the I really overuse the term in any case, don't I guys? I need to stop doing that. I I really do. I almost say it as much as I say, like if I do say so myself, or I'm sorry. Eh, whatever. But once we enter into this vicinity. Oh my goodness. Money, you say? Well then, it seems that there is some quite interesting things going on within this mountain. Such as something very, very shitty, if you know what I mean. This is Infinite Trash, you're saying, right down with sub, peace out, you want to have a good one.